Please, Taylor Swift had to get in. City Police Department. Roy City Police Department. Happy Fuck the Cops Day, guys. What the fuck are you doing out here? What, am, what is going on? Why? Yep. We'd like to know that ourselves. Really? Yep. Okay. Good. All right. Stay that. Right. Understand you're not under arrest. No, I am under arrest. No. You are not. Listen, I am under arrest. You're listen, putting me in handcuffs. You're, listen, you're fucking yelling listen, barking shit at me. When, well, what we're going to do, here, here's what's going to happen. We're going to detain you in the back seat of our car until you can calm down and we can have a good until communication. Until I can calm down? Yes. Okay, so we're trying I, to tell you. I have not are had you ready training. To how, are you, are you ready to listen? On? Is your body cam on? Are you ready to listen? Are you ready? Hey, no, are you I'm ready? I'm not ready to listen. Okay, then we'll just put you in the car and we'll go check for on the safety of your kids. For what for? We'll just, we'll put you in the car until we check on the kids. For what crime? What's your name? What crime are you committed? Trespassing. 7.39, I'm out. Lincoln X-ray 8902. Oh, 
did we get a camper back here? What's 300 yards? Out right here? Do you see it? Well, son? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where? What? What's 300 yards? I mean, no. <laughs> so a football, a football field's 100, right? Okay, so it's going to be deep back here then, huh? You need to get some uh, flow names. That's what helped me. It. We're pretty deep off into this field and we're not seeing anything. Can you have her lead us out by our squad car? She goes on the rest of the meadows. There's a light down there. Right there flashing. It's like a flashlight. You see it? Yeah. What is that? Is that ox? Why don't you fucking tell us so we don't shoot each other? My body came around to that.
Who's he, your husband? husband? Okay, okay. And so I'm like, I'm not going down there. I said, I'm in bed. And so he's like, oh, you got to come and see this. And I'm like, what? And I'm kind of frustrated because I'm trying to go to bed. And I've got to get up early in the morning. Well, there's a truck with a camper and there's some kids down there. I'm like, in the field? And he's like, yeah. I said, well, is it at the end of the road? Or he said, no, you got to come and see it. And I said, just go take a picture of it and give it to me. What's he do? He goes out there and drives out there and has a conversation with them. And I'm like, oh my God. Why? Did you just on this? Like, yeah. back here on he this side? He thinks, you know the road? Like the, the little road that comes from the back side? That you, he thinks that the guy pulled the truck in from the back side of the woods and is parked there with that camper with them kids. And I'm like, them kids don't need to be out there with no electricity, no water. And now I'm paranoid because. Now he knows that my husband went out there and talked to him and he said, told my husband, said, well, we're just staying here until Thursday until we go to court. Come on now, really? And he said the little girl came out and was kind of waving at him, said she's about this big. And I said, so are they white, black, yeah. or skin, like I was just gonna ask that. He said she was like maybe white or Hispanic, you know, and I'm like, okay, what's the guy look like? White. He said about 35, 30, and I'm like, can you not give me a better description? I mean, seriously, this guy could have taken the kids and... Yeah, know, we need it. We need to try to figure yeah. out where it's at. And I feel we'll bad because there. I didn't go out there and I pay attention to the details. Oh, you called us. That's what I we'll do. Like, well, my thing is, I don't know who this man is and who, if those are his kids, why has he got them kids? And if she's this big, why isn't she in school? They don't have no electricity. 1777? Is that too far out? down through there like there's like a little creek and he's like well I don't know three five hundred yards and I'm like you're really I was just really frustrated with his description and then it just kind of worked on me because you know we're, we're kids and I'm like if that was my kid and this man's okay, not so supposed to have one so that's why we want to find one right here because that, I mean, that's a good ways out there just we're, right there right there's like a, a little dip I don't know if you've ever been out there no. You haven't. No reason to be out there. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> except well, for now. Well, my thing is, when we went down there, just we had some puppies pass away, and we went out there just exploring. Mm -hmm. There's like a little creek, and you can kind of go down in the creek. And I didn't even know that this field was was there. And I'm like, we just kind of sit there, you know, watching the sunset one day. And I thought, so we kind of drove around, and and there's a road, and I'm like, holy crap, there's a road, and people are dumping crap out here. I wonder if that road is one of the streets off 7, not 17, he said, well, but 1138. This is what he told me. He said, that road, he said, you know that road that goes down to the store? I said, are you talking about Moe's? Moe's, right. And I said, he said, well, I think they probably pulled in. There's some other, mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking. He said that he thinks that's probably how he got there. Because if that man was to pull that through here, 
we would have seen it during yeah. the day. So then this truck up here belongs there, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. so we weren't sure. Okay. But I'm just concerned. I mean, like, now that this guy knows that my husband went and made conversation with him, and he's like, he's naive. So he told your husband, we're just staying here till Thursday. Yeah, he told He's a white male with two kids, three yeah. kids. He said he saw a boy sleep in the truck, and the man told him that they were going to um, sleep in the camper, pop-up camper, tonight. And I'm like, seriously? I told my husband, I said, that's shady. We're going down Sorrels to West Canine Road. You can see if there's a cut over there. The next closest main road will be Corral Lane. anything about this guy but to me the more so there's about like it, a dirt road back there and you think he got to it from like 11 yeah. okay because if he was to come through here you would see like it that, that well that's what, what we were saying the whole time we were going up there they may not people you know like Louie and tj they wouldn't even say anything lee would straight up be called texting my husband anything that goes on and i said well i could try to pull you know rerun our cameras but i don't think it's even on record because we lost power earlier today, yeah. and I said, like, well, if he pulled it through here, I don't have any food on it, so it's just frustrating. And I was like, well, I don't know anything about this man. He could be, he could be, He didn't you know, happen to say his name. No. And I told him, I said, why didn't you take it? He said, well, I'm going to take a picture of him right there with him standing there. I said, well, you wasn't supposed to drive up on him. How old did he say that he, did he say that he thought the kids he, might be? He said that he thought the girl might be like six or seven. What about the boy? Tell about the boy because he was asleep inside the truck. And I was like, it's hot. What time of the day was this? Oh gosh. What time is it right now? Ten. It's been a couple hours ago 15. because I reached out to some of the admins for our neighborhood, thinking, you know, do you all know who owns this property? Do you know that some if somebody is like camping out out there, you know, with their permission? Because I mean, you've been to our house before, and it's just like, to me, I don't know anything about this out here. We take the razor out every once in a while, but he put the battery on it today because he's going to our dear lease this weekend in Atlanta, and so he, I told, I always tell him, watch for the kids, because these kids are always, you know, they're always out of plan. And I was like, just watch for the kids because the grass hasn't been mowed. And then when he seen, he spotted hey, it. Hey, pull up a uh, to see how far back it goes. It, it doesn't show. Line. I mean, well, it does go to county line. Is that yeah. good or bad? So yeah, I mean, it goes pretty far. Sorrels fine. goes up and it connects to county line road right there. And there's a creek. We're right here. And of course, we walked out there and went to basically there. Or maybe we went to there. Yeah, I think we just went to like right there. Because when I, t I sent Amy and then just like, well, we'll just contact authorities in the morning. I'm thinking, if there's kids out there, just well, I mean, it looks like there's a dirt road that somebody using. It might be the road you're talking about. Well, now. back there behind the church. But that's not, very, it's not a very good passable. There's another road that when we went out there one day, when we first you know, got the razor, and we went down there, and I told him I had just had surgery. I said, so fast. I said, I'm real sensitive. And he hit a couple of them down there in that little creek. But he just told me it's like, I don't know, it's like this. Yeah. Well, the only thing I can think so of, be closer to yeah. off of Sorrels. Yeah. And there's a dirt road. I mean, it's a, it's a farm. It's just farm. It's just tractor. Dropping How on far it. If, from that dirt road do you think he is? I don't know because I didn't go. Yeah, which? If I got him out of bed, he could probably take you, but trying to wake him up, I'm just like, he's like a freaking log. I'm like, wake up. What color was the truck? He said, well, you should have went with me. And I'm like, well, you didn't tell me that he had kids and all this. You just told me there was a truck with a camper. And when I, he says camper, I'm thinking, you know, not a pop-up. I'm thinking a big camper. I was like, well, there's places for people to go and park that, not out in, like, what are they hiding Well, it's, it, that's what's odd to me is that they're hiding in the middle yeah. of a field. So to me... That's out there, and he's been there before. Yeah. Somebody's told him that's why I didn't want to post that and, publicly mm -hmm. because I just yeah. thought now that my husband, dumb dumb husband, goes and talks to him, I'm like, you don't know them. I was like, give me dope heads or something. Mm -hmm. I was like, he could have. Yeah, but you know the road I'm talking about that goes from those. And I, 
1138, yeah. And then there's and two rolls. It kind of comes, I mean, you can get to that area right there, but if it was not so dark, you could probably see it. But getting him to tell me a good description of the spot. So that's a track. You should just go with me. I'm like, I'm not going out there. It's crazy. That's I don't know anything about that man. No kids. Yeah, I mean, that's why we want to get it's out very there. Suspicious. Yeah. Well, I felt like it was after listening to my husband talk. I'm thinking, that's not typical no, to it's say not. that. And I said, well, why aren't they in school? And I was like, when it's hot, I said, it's 102 today. I said, if they plan to stay there until Thursday, until court, that just sounds fishy in my opinion. Just information. being on a DWI on this. Yeah. Well, I can get Jason to go get it. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh, is he gonna, does he want to get it? Is he getting it? Mark, you want to step get that? He got it. He wants a DWI? Let him know. Uh, he what? Let's go down to Sorrels. This is weird to me. It is. Let's go down to Sorrels and see if we can even make Tracks down there. So, you want to take two cars down there, or do you want to park one at Moe's and jump in and go down there together? No, we'll just take we'll take both cars where they are, and then we'll see what what the road is even like. If it's unpassable, it's unpassable. It's yeah. Okay. And okay. Then from there, then we'll decide if we can go down to 1138, come down to both different roads. Yeah. I just think that we need to. No, we definitely need to. Yeah. Okay. I'll just I'll just follow you. 